Hi guys, how's it going? So today I'm just going to do a fun little craft um, thing with ornaments, glitter and ornaments. They're for clients, they're Christmas presents. Um, they take really good care of me all year long, so I thought I would do something nice for them. And um, well, as we all know, us nail techs have a ton of glitter. So all of this stuff is basically used with nail supplies. So all you have to really get are your ornaments and these are like a disc or oval I can't remember the name of them anyways I got these at Michael's and if I remember right they came in a package of 25 so um, and I think they were $12.99 so I'm not don't quote me on that but anyways I'm just gonna get started on this so what you're gonna need to probably get unless you already have it is it's called polycrylic and I'm trying not to tip this because <laughs> the lid is off. Kind of, it's not tight. So anyways, I'm hoping that you can kind of see this. Um, I'm hoping it's in the shot. So what, what I'm gonna do is I've already, I stirred it and then I used a little funnel such as like this one. And then put that back on there. I poured it into one of these containers. Um, you get two of these at the dollar store. Or actually, it's a buck twenty-five now because you know inflation and prices have gone up. So um, and these work really well. So, like I said, I've already poured it in here. So what I'm going to do is show you how I've done this. I started doing these last night and thought I should do a little video because these are fun. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this in there, and then I always close this up. It doesn't dry super fast, but I mean, yeah, I'm not taking any chances. So what you want to do is coat the inside as best as you can. You don't want any air bubbles. So the reason I have it over the container is because I'm just going to pour it right back in. Try not to waste anything. So what you want to do is, like I said, you want to coat everything, even this little area here. Everything needs to be coated. So I started doing these a few minutes ago and thought, I should, yeah, I'm just going to record it. Okay, so this one's going to be, this one's wet. And I found it best, I don't know if you can see it, I'll, Pull it closer once I get this drained. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what you want to do is you just kind of, you put it in. I'm using an egg carton. You can use anything you want. Little cups, little plastic cups, or I mean, whatever you wish. I'll put that on later. Okay, so I'm going to pull this in just a little bit so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. Oops. So anyways, okay, the egg carton. This one is done and dried. This one is from last night, okay? This is the one that we just poured the polyacrylic in, and then, actually that might not be a bad thing that those all fell out. And then we're gonna, okay. So I'm gonna show you how to do the glitter. And you can use any glitter that you want. As nail techs, you know we have a ton. This one I took from my husband. This is a like a color that you would add to paint for a bass boat. All right, so what we're gonna do with this is I have another funnel. And I'm gonna put this one over here like so. And then I'm going to pour the glitter in. And I always, always, like I just started doing these. I shouldn't say always. So what I do is I pour it and then I put the excess back into the bottle or the jar. And again, just like with the glue, you want to coat everything. So, okay, I'm going to just use my thumb here. I know you guys have things to do today. I don't want to make this too long. Okay. And 
And once it looks all coated, okay, you're going to empty it, the excess, I should say, back into the jar. Okay, and then this one needs to dry overnight like this one did. So what we're going to do now is we're going to decorate this one. And I am going to use gold. These are a little acrylic pens. They're fine point. Um, I know you can use a Cricut. My husband has one. I don't know how to use it, so here we go. We're going to use these instead. I got these off of Amazon. I'll have to leave a link in the description. So we're going to let that dry. And then what I want to do is, I, these are stickers that I got off of Shein. They're 3D or 5D. I can't remember what they're called. Um, I love them. And they're fun to use, but they're a pain in the butt on nails. So I'm not even going to lie. Lately, I don't know what's going on with them. I'm trying to find tweezers. Hold on. Uh-oh. Hmm. Okay. Well, anyways, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of these on here. I don't believe you have to top coat them. Oh, my goodness. I need tweezers. Should have had these out. Sorry, I wasn't even thinking. Okay, so I'm going to use just a couple of these larger ones, like so. And they stick really, really well. Like I said, I'm trying to do this in a timely manner. Okay. So there are some stickers, right? And then I thought it would be fun to add some rhinestones just to glam it up a bit. So I'm going to use Young Nails glue. I tried using the hot glue gun. That was a bad mistake. Bad, bad, bad mistake. I had a mess. Okay, so... There's that. And the other good thing about using the nail glue, it does not dry nearly as fast as that hot glue. That stuff does not give you, I mean, it, there's no leeway there. Once it's on, it's on and it's, it's sets up right away. And then I also learned that the uh, rhinestones don't stick as well. Okay, we need we need two more, I think. So I'm trying really hard to get this done. Okay, so we'll put one there and one over here. All right, so there's the design. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the top now and pray it's gonna behave. Okay. Come on. Okay. Hoping you can see that. Okay, so that is on. And then I'm going to take the glue gun, put a little bit in there. And I did it in the crease as well. Whoops. Right in here. So that should keep that top from moving around. Oh my gosh. Okay, see all those little strings? Oh my goodness. Yeah. 
looking great. Okay. I'm going to, I'll clean that up when it dries. So I don't know if you can see this, but there's, there's that. And then I got these little hooks. I thought these were, these work great. Okay. So I'm going to go in this way because you want to hang it on the tree like such. So anyways, these are fun to make and great little gift ideas for your clients to show them some appreciation. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be back again shortly with um, another nail video or maybe some more ornaments. Who knows? Um, so thanks for joining me. Cheers.